All right, I'm late again as usual. But I was, uh, I just uploaded a couple videos about Tim and I called Thanks Bob. You'll have to watch to see why they're called Thanks Bob. And then you have to guess who Bob actually is. But in the process, <laughs> my father has all these just crazy, crazy stories. Let's go this way. I don't cut the fucking phone off. Look at the clothes. Anyway, my father has all these great stories about shit that happened to him. And some of them he's forgotten and they come back to him. And I mean, I just heard one recently about how when he was four or five years old, he and his cousin used to catch coral snakes. I mean, probably the most venomous snake in the Northern Hemisphere. And it's a neurotoxin. All the other pit vipers, you know, are basically just a glorified bacteria. But this coral snakes, I don't know what I'm talking about. They were four years old, they would catch coral snakes and sell them to a bus driver on the Tamami Trail to take to a laboratory to make anti-venom for, I don't know, it's just, it's just crazy shit. I mean, he was four years old, catch his course now. But, so, He's getting all these memories come back to him, and I'm hoping he's writing them down because he's got some fabulous stories. But I got to thinking when I was uploading this video of Tim and I and Bob, and some other stories started coming back. Stories I probably should have written down, wrote, wrote down. But uh, another time, he and I almost went to jail. We were. We were hanging a house for John Carroll, another friend of mine who passed away way too early. Brings like another memory that John Carroll and I always got in a fight with some guys on the beach, but that's another story. But anyway, we, so we were hanging John Carroll's future wife's cottage at Babel. Back then, Babe Island was Babe Island. I mean, it was the way I loved it. It was just wild beaches. No. It was still Babe Island. So, <laughs> when we were staying in my parents' cottage, and we hung half the house and it was at night. And I. Tim was, Tim was trying to be responsible, but I was just, I couldn't handle it. I just, I was all amped up. And I talked him into going out. Going out at Babon is like, you know, there's nothing to do. I mean, there's no bars, there's no, there's nothing there. But somehow I talked him into going out. At 11 o'clock at night, and we're going to downtown Matthews. We're riding around, riding around. We can't find anything to do, no trouble to get into. We go to the local high school, you know, all the other rednecks are parked out in the parking lot. We're like, you know, where do you go to have fun around here? They all say Richmond. Well, we're from Richmond. But <laughs> we ran out of we ran out of places to go and look and try to have fun. And so we're on the way back to the cottage. And there used to be a, uh, 
what was it? A and P or really the grocery store beside the Dollar General in Matthews. And we saw some cars, some roughnecks. I mean, they just looked like trouble. And I, we can get in some trouble here. So we pulled in the parking lot and circled around those guys. And they gave us the evil eye. We gave them the evil eye. We did another loop. And, uh, Try to flick them off, they flicked us off. So I was like, all right, it's on. So you know, Tim and I were like, let's drive over here behind a grocery store. We're gonna kick some ass and take some names. So we pulled behind the grocery store. And Tim's like, you know, as soon as they come around, it ain't no talking, ain't no nothing. You just jump out and you start fucking kicking ass. I was like, no problem. We were, we were, I mean, we weren't, we weren't coke heads and we weren't on speed or any of that shit. We were just young and crazy. But, uh, so, I don't know how we got out of this. But the, we could see the headlights coming down around the vehicle, around the store. Turned and we were half blinded by the lights, and we were both getting ready to bail out and just start throwing punches. And about the time we grabbed the door handles, it was the blue lights. <laughs> Matthew Sheriff Department. Oh, oh shit. And again, I mean, we were half hit in the ass looking for trouble. <laughs> I don't know if it was because, I don't know why we didn't get arrested. I think maybe if they knew my dad or they knew we were associated with Jesse or Margaret Anderson, I don't know. But once they found out who I was and where I was from, they gave me my license back, told me to go home, and we did. <laughs> And we damn sure should have gone to jail that night. And then another night, we were at a players club pool hall for Tim's cousin Josh, his birthday, 21st birthday. Wow, something, something happened. Tim and I got in a fight. In, in the players club. And that was probably the only time Tim and I have ever fought where I got the upper hand. Because usually I'm on the black eye end of things. <clears throat> but, so we get in this fight, he clocks me across the jaw and I end up getting on him, choking him out or some shit. And they throw me out of the bar. Well, I know Tim, Tim isn't gonna take that line down. I know he's gonna come out of there wanting revenge. So I'm out in the parking lot, just you know, trying to pump myself up because I know there's an ass kicking coming. And I'm amped up and amped up. These two guys walk out that were in the bar. And <laughs> I'm like, you go back in there and tell that motherfucker to bring his ass out of here because I'm going to kick his ass again. I'm like, what are you talking about? And I, so I, I come in to cussing these two guys because they won't go get Tim so we can fight again. Well, apparently they got, well, not apparently, they got tired of me mouthing off at them and they started kicking the shit out of me. I mean, I was getting my ass kicked. I had a black eye for like three weeks. <laughs> so these guys are kicking the shit out of me and who comes to the rescue but Tim after I just choked him out in the players club he comes out there and he beats the ever living dog shit out of both those guys <laughs> I 
I mean, I was on the ground, bloodied up, getting my head stopped in. I look up and there's Tim just way late this one guy, kicking the other guy. It was funny. He scoops me up, throws me in the back of the car. The cops are coming. The manager of Players Club's out there. We can hear the fucking cops coming. We haul ass. Got out of jail that night, too. <laughs> we got in a fight at uh, <clears throat> Daddy Rabbits. I don't even know if it's still around. Strip bar, titty bar. And I was in there. I forget. I think it was Joe, his brother's bachelor party or something. And I was in there playing pool with all these bikers. And I'm dressed up like a preppy in my rugby shirts. So I'm playing pool with these bikers. Something happens and I get some kind of altercation with a biker. I get thrown out of the bar. And I'm just pissed off and amped up. And Tim and Joe come out there. And it was just the nature of how we were. I mean, I don't, like I said, we weren't on drugs. We were just, we were just angry young men. And uh, I couldn't find anybody to fight with, so I started a fight with Tim. <laughs> and Tim knew something that I didn't about long, lanky people like me and him. You can take headshots all day long. But he caught me in the short rib. And we were pounding each other. And he said enough of this and he hit me right there. It broke my rib. And I went down. And I was I was trying to breathe. But I couldn't breathe. And I stood up. Still trying to be, you know, manly. And he told me. He said, you can breathe heavy all you want, but you take one more swing at me and I'm going to kick your ass. I didn't swing again. But he had, I mean, he, he, he had me, but he, he had enough restraint to know I was done. Damn, that thing hurt, man. I, trying to hang sheetrock with broken ribs is not a fun not a fun prospect. Anyway, I just, I, these mem memories were coming back. And instead of writing them down, I figured I'd video them because sooner or later I'm going to get old and forget about them. I keep hoping my dad will write all his stories down. I need to write the story about John Carroll and I chasing people off the beach. Maybe I'll get inspired. All right, I gotta get to work.